What's up with it? It's your boy McFly, man, the hardest working man in shoe tame at the day. And welcome back to the Landon Strip. If this is your first time over here in the land of McFly, man, I welcome you. I appreciate you stopping by. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell before you leave the premises to keep you up to date and in tune with everything that I got going on. As y'all can see, I just got off of my part-time bank robbing. And you know what I'm saying? It, it is what it is, man. We get it in. I probably shouldn't tell y'all that, but we family, right? You know, we talk, we have conversations. Don't tell nobody else. Cool. Who has the heat season five, man? It's currently underway. Um, this Saturday at 8 30, we got who we got? Ah, we got 10.5 and uh CJ the sneaker fan or sneaker kind of sewer or 10.5 versus sneaker somebody. I, <laughs> I apologize <laughs> that I didn't know your name because my bad. Either he might not see the video. Either way, um, <laughs> show comprises of me, myself, 313 Retro Queen, PM Kicks, and the richest man alive, E-Money Shoes. Uh, me and PM got a date coming up on the battles, man, so y'all just gotta wait for it. They uh, decided to plug us in, so we, we gonna be battling y'all. So get ready for it. Yeah, I said it. All cap. Yo, but we got a shoe, man. A shoe that I've been waiting on for a while and it finally showed up. I had to reach out to GOAT to get these, unfortunately, but it's all good. It was a pair that my thirst was outrageous for that I had to have. And the pair of shoes we talking about today is the Boo Yizow Wizow Club Lizow. The Green Apple Jordan 5, AKA the Oregon Ducks. So let's go ahead, man, get you zoomed in on this close-up action. Let's prepare to take flight. All right, man, we got you locked and loaded on this close-up action for all my real verse fakers. Get a good shot of that size tag, man. It's a size 14, so you already know that it is a PP. Uh, label reads, Air Jordan 5 Retro SE CK6631307, Apple Green, Black Black in the game. You got that limited edition uh, Jordan box that they've been using for the past few years for special releases. You don't have your traditional Jordan 5 box. Uh, you got two levels of paper. You've got the black tissue paper and the white tissue paper. A green and white quality control sticker and a tiny sticker in the lid. Booyah, you seen it. Don't try to act like you ain't see it. You saw it. You saw it. Like I said, these did come from GOAT. So, you know, you got your GOAT. Your GOAT card, stickers, all that. Get the box out of the way. Get the shoe on the tape. And there it is, bro. The Apple Green, or AKA the Oregon Five uh, Fives. Oregon Five Fives? Oregon Fives. <laughs> <laughs> the Oregon Files, man, on deck. Um, this shoe was a must-have for me, man. I absolutely had to have it. As you know, if you follow the channel, I'm addicted to green things. My favorite color is green. These, the Gatorades, anything that's green dominant, I'm likely to buy it if it looks good. So this was just another addition to the collection. Ultimately, it's what it was. So we can go ahead, man, and get into this, uh, get into this review real quick. Uh, you got a all suede upper on this joint decent quality on the suede or whatnot all oh, bright green just that green man that green is the hitter like straight up no oregon attachment or nothing i would still want this shoe i mean even though they're not claiming it on the shoe because it's not the joint but you you know what i'm saying either way i would have bought this straight up i would have bought this shoe you've got a uh, all black midsole coming in here with your uh yellow here and uh, something that I want to point out, there's a couple flaws on this shoe, man, and I don't really know how I feel about it. Like right here, this is one of them. You see how that last little tooth right there got some got some extra going on? Like, I've never seen that flawed on a five. I have never, ever, out of all the fives I got, this right here is perfect. Now, it might be something else wrong with the shoe, but I ain't never seen that flawed before. Let me know in the comments, am I tripping? I don't think I'm tripping. Go check y'all fives and let me know if that's jacked up. Come back <laughs> and revisit it, man. You got the clear bubble on the joint. Um, rip it, flipping around to the back. 
You got that Jordan tag. It's on the um, UNC threes too, but it's on the inside. I believe Michigan fives had that same tag. Um, quality products inspired by the greatest basketball player ever, which is always on your J's. Medial side matches the lateral. You got your yellow hit here with that icy sole, which was a banger. Icy and black. They could have threw some yellow or something on here on the bottom. I think that would have been a nice touch. Uh, you got flat black laces and you have your black lacelets going up the shoe. Uh, clear and black lace lock. Wait, there's something in there. I can't see it though. Clear and black lace lock, <laughs> and you got your uh, grayish tongue up here. I'm pretty sure that tongue is 3M, but I'll, I'll take a picture of it just to see. Um, you got your clear netting on the shoe, but the underneath is black, so the netting's black, you dig? Or that might be like a smoke. No, that's still clear, it's just black underneath. Clear netting, but the black is underneath. Um, you've got this nice kind of meshy nylon uh, up in here on your ankle. Um, it's kind of like the same on the um, Pantone 11. If you got the Pantones, the inside is like the same. It's also got a yellow insole in the shoe. I don't know if the camera's really gonna catch it, but it's a yellow insole with a black jump man. And it's got some type of texture or uh, something to it, how it looks anyway, in here. Or maybe I'm tripping. No, that looks like some type of pattern. But yeah. That's pretty much all it is, man. A pretty simplistic shoe at best. This shoe looks pretty good. That's the only thing I hate about shipping um, suede shoes. You always have that little piece always rubs when you're shipping them. Um, looking over here at the other shoe. Oh man, it's a stain. It's a stain up here on the toe. Like, come on, man, with these stains, man. How, how am I gonna have a stain on my shoe, bro? I don't, I don't like stains, man. If I'm paying top dollar for shoes, I need a top dollar shoe. Over here, it's a little dot on my yellow. On which one is that? Third tooth or second tooth, depending on how you count. It's like a smudge or some pain error here. Like now, nah, bro. I, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even put this shoe up for sale. If, if, if I'm being perfectly honest, this shoe would have stayed in the store, bro. Like my thirst ain't. ain't ain't that real but if i'm paying top dollar or resale for a shoe i want a perfect shoe so yellow and so i'm probably gonna send this joint back <laughs> like, wholeheartedly bro i'm returning this somebody picked this up looked at this authenticated and sent it to me anyway no bro i went i don't i don't sell flawed shoes to people i don't buy flawed shoes it's not my thing I love this shoe though. This shoe's a banger. Please believe I'm gonna get another pair. <laughs> I'm gonna get another pair coming from somewhere, but I ain't keeping this one. Uh, that being said, we're probably gonna skip the own foot too, cause I, I gotta, um, yeah, these, these. Sorry, goat. I appreciate y'all and what y'all do, but this pair ain't right. And I eat now. No, no ma'am. No, sir. Whoever. Uh uh. No way. No high. Not then. Not now. Uh -uh. But um, shoe is dope, man. Love the shoe. Can't wait to get another pair in here, and I might go back and do it on foot. Sizing for your Jordan fives always go true to size. No need to go down or up, you know, whatever. Just stay where you at, and you'll be good with the Jordan fives. Comfort on the Jordan fives, and like I always say, I'm not gonna hold you. It ain't that great on these fives neither. It's not. It's not great. It's that that C C C plus range on the comfort of these fives but they don't you know they don't give you no pinky toe pain or none of that stuff but valuable lesson learned here today man always check your shoes don't just throw them off or whatever pay attention to what you're getting and don't take something if it's flawed man lesson of the day do not take something if it's flawed especially if you're paying over retail for it ain't no way i seen people be like oh man it got the smudge on there but i'm good with that please I ain't good with that. <laughs> I ain't gonna be good with that. Ever. This shoe is dope though, bro. I'm hurt a little bit on the inside. I'm like crying a little bit, but it is what it is, man. Expect nothing but the best. Nothing but the finest breast milks. <laughs> I ain't bro, I'm done. Either way, appreciate you stopping by, man. Appreciate you watching the video. This is a crazy shoe. Um, and as always, until next time, it's your boy McFly, man. I'll let you.